Hey guys, this is Shakri from Gizbot and in today's video, let's unbox and take a quick look at the Xeoni P7 which was launched in India last month. Here is the detail packaging of the Xeoni P7. As you can see, there is nothing written on the front except for the Xeoni branding and the model name at the bottom. Let's see what backside at the box. Uh, as you can see the pricing here is the pricing it is the device is priced at 11,499 however it is retailing for rupees 9,590 via Amazon India and at the bottom we have the quick specifications of the Xeoni P7 so let's unbox the phone let's peel this off just done as you can see here is the opening of the box we have the P7 itself Let's keep this device aside for time being and see what's inside the box. Opening up the box, we have the uh, screen guard and two leaflets, warranty card and leaflets. And we have the USB, micro USB cable and earphones. These are the standard 3.5 mm jack earphones. And underneath that, we have the battery and the travel adapter. Speaking of the design of the Geoni P7, the phone is built up of plastic entirely and at the right side we have the power button and volume rockers placed within reach of your hand and at the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and at the bottom we have the micro USB port and at the back the Geoni, ba the Geoni P7 back is removable and the back feels quite shiny and prone to fingerprints as you can see here are the fingerprints. So you have to, thankfully the company is bundling a case with the packaging itself. The Xeon P7 comes with a 5 inch 720p display and at the top of the display we have the 5 megapixel front facing camera along with the microphone and a sensor and Xeoni has gone with the hardware capacitive buttons with the Xeoni P7. Uh, we have already booted up the smartphone and as you can see the display is vibrant and crisp however the viewing angle the screen is reflective and as a result the viewing angles are affected. Speaking about the software department, the Xeoni P7 comes with a Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow on top of Amigo 3.2.0, the company's own skin. The, the software is heavily bloated. Uh, with, it comes with uh, Google's native apps and Xeoni's own apps such as uh, G-Store, Theme Park, Child Mode, etc. And uh, there are some other bloatware as well, Flipkart, H2O Today, Messenger, Savan. These are all uh, pre-installed. Thankfully, you can uninstall them without any issues. The Geoni P7 comes with a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor and the company hasn't mentioned about the chipset which has been used in the smartphone. Uh, coupled with the chipset, we have the 2 GB of RAM along with 16 GB of internal storage and the storage can be further expandable up to 128 GB via a micro SD card slot. We feel that 2 GB RAM is slightly outdated these days as entry-level smartphone is coming with 3 GB of RAM. The Xeoni P7 comes with a 8 megapixel rear camera and the camera applications user interface is same as the iPhone ones we have seen. Let's quickly capture a shot and see what the camera can be up to. We have captured a shot and uh, there are no details in the smartphone at all. We are pretty much disappointed with the camera department as Xeoni has just gone with an 8 megapixel camera. The phone comes with a 5 megapixel front facing camera and interestingly both the cameras rear and front facing camera can record 720p videos. The Xeoni P7 comes with a smaller 2300 mAh battery and all the power saving modes from the Amigo OS are present here. As you can see there are three modes one is normal mode which is the phone is in right now and the other one is power saving mode and the other one is extreme power saving mode. By activating power saving mode the system will activate a complete dark mode into the phone as you can see uh, the every application in the phone has a dark ui now compared to the previous ui and if uh, with activating the extreme power saving mode you can access only four applications such as phone contacts messaging and uh, clock applications and e you can easily exit the extreme mode we feel that the geoni p7 has a very small battery compared to the competition such as xiaomi redmi 3s prime and uh, xiaomi redmi note 3 and other coolpad devices as well 